horsepower Bridgeport. Uh, this unit is currently wired 220, but can also be wired 440. As you can see, this unit comes with digitals and also has an air strip, which means this uh, pneumatically rele uh, releases your collets. It draws them in and releases them. Um, this unit also, if you come over here to the side, there's an external transformer down here to power your digitals. So they have this outlet right here is right off the transformer, then they have like an extension cord going up to a secondary outlet so you can plug even more objects in. The, sh the unit also has a single shot Bezier lubrication system to lubricate the wave. We're just going to go ahead and turn it on. You can see this is an older style, this is a step pulley to so change speed, you have to loosen the motor and drop the belt down or up on the pulley to get, get various speeds. As you can tell, the head does sound good, it is in good shape. Go ahead and shift it. What you're hearing rattle is just this up top. You want to check the feed rates. Now this unit knocks off on the downstroke and on the upstroke. So first we'll demonstrate the upstroke. Feed clutch is in excellent shape in this machine because it's actually a brand new feed clutch in this machine. until it comes off the, the dog, that stays engaged. You also have three different ranges of feed. This is your fastest, this is your medium. I'm sorry, this is your medium, this is the slowest feed. The medium speed, slowest speed, fastest feed rate. You can see it knocks off with no issues at all. Now if you want to disengage your feet, all together, come over here, put it in and out, and that disengages your feed. When I re-engage, put it in, re-engage the worm. So this also has the, 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 the quick micro nut on it. So you drop down for easy adjustments. Breaks in good shape. Pulls a little tight on this unit, but it's not bad at all. Come over here to the back, we turn the digitals on, switch, so you see it says Sony, it reset on one of the two axes. Now there's no tight spots in this table at all, it goes very nice from end to end. There is zero backlash as you can see in the screw in the nut. Uh, there's a brand new uh, x-axis nut in here for the table. smooth. The noise you're hearing is just a scandal over there. Now on the Y you have backlash. Let's get the zero. You have 25 thousandths backlash <clears throat> in your Y axis nut and screw. As you can see here, the waves are in excellent condition. There is a little bit of wear, but you can still see all the flaking. There's no heavy grooving or anything like that. It goes from end to end with ease. As you can see the digitals. They don't jump, skip, or garble at all. Very, very consistent. These are nice Sony digitals on this unit. You can see it's coming to the very end with ease.
if you come around the back, you can see another view of the ways that have the table all the way forward. You can see they're in nice shape. Like I said, there's a little bit of wear right here, but you're going to have that. It is a used machine. Bring this back a little bit. The knee goes up and down with ease. Uh, there's a new knee handle also. Bridgeport. Uh, with this unit, if you would like a power feed added, you can just talk to the salesman when you call up and we can all, always add a power feed on your X or Y axis or even your Z axis. This is our one horsepower Bridgeport. This is our one horsepower Bridgeport again. Uh, I can show you here real quick the uh, air truck uh, feature on this. Push the little button on the side. Takes the collet out. Put it in. Draw it in. Hook up an airline on the back, or you can change the fitting and you can hard plumb it in. This is our one horsepower bridge port.